Hi everyone, Saki here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated closet tour for you guys to show you exactly how I've turned my luxury closet into like half a nursery. You guys have been asking for this for a long time, so I hope that you enjoy this video. When we first moved into this apartment, I did a luxury closet tour, but of course, since I've had to move a lot of my stuff out and get rid of a lot of stuff, it has changed a lot. However, if you do wanna check out what my room originally looked like, I will link a video down below for you guys. In today's video I'll be going through how and where I store my clothing. You guys are probably already familiar with my handbags and shoes situation from watching my other videos but I'll go through that as well and then I'll show you the new nursery stuff that I've put in here. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys a little bit of our master bedroom because we did put some baby stuff there as well. We are going to be co-inhabiting for a couple of months so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get to it. Before we get started, I did want to share with you a couple of new pieces that I did get for my closet. And this part of the video is sponsored by Farfetch. If you're not familiar with Farfetch, I have worked with them before. They are an online luxury retailer. They carry brands from everything from Balenciaga, Chloe, Givenchy, Balmain. There are so many products on their website. And because they partner with boutiques from all over the world, you can guarantee that you're getting the best prices from literally everywhere in the globe. The first thing that I want to share with you guys is this tweed jacket that I got from them. So this is from a Hong Kong brand called A and AB. I've never heard of them before, but when I was browsing their website, I saw this adorable tweed jacket and I really couldn't resist. Um, it is pink and black, which is totally my style. Now this one is a little bit big on me. I did get a size small. I think there was an extra small as well, but I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to fit into that. So I think what I'm going to do is exchange this one for the smaller size, which is one of the things I love about Farfetch, it's so easy to do returns, even from international. All you have to do is go to the website, click start a return, and then you just ship your items off super easy as that. You'll get your credit back, you can exchange it for another item, and that is what I plan to do with this jacket because, yeah, it is a little bit big on me. The second item that I have to share with you guys is this beautiful pearl Vivian and Westwood necklace. I am obsessed with this. I've been obsessed with this necklace for a really long time. You guys might have seen it a lot on social media. I think like Dua Lipa and some other celebrities have rocked it and I just love Vivian Westwood so much. It's one of my favorite brands. And for the most part, I actually do buy Vivian Westwood from Farfetch because they do have a really great stock. Another one of my favorite things about buying from Farfetch is their stock. Now, like I said, because they do partner with boutiques all over the world, even if something is sold out in your country, Farfetch still might have it in stock because it is there in a different country. And I just love that about Farfetch. It makes shopping so much easier. Now, this is the Vivian Westwood pearl choker. I think it has an official name, but I will link all of these items down for you guys below. And I just think it's a beautiful like statement necklace. I know this is something a little bit more bold than what I would normally wear, but like I said, I'm just a huge fan of this brand and I think I will definitely rock this. But yeah, if you are interested in either of these two items from Farfetch, I will leave links to them down below as well as a coupon code. So please go check out Farfetch after this video. They've got so many great items on their website. There are certain restrictions and terms and conditions for the coupon code, so I will leave all of that down below as well. And thank you again to Farfetch for sponsoring this video. I did also want to mention the dress that I'm wearing. Let me take this jacket off so you guys can properly see it. I just picked this black and white dress up from Express and I love it so much. Um, as you can see, I'm still very pregnant, but because this dress is really stretchy, it goes over my bump and I think I'll also be able to wear it, you know, after I have the baby because it isn't maternity. I love the vibes that it gives me. It's so elegant and sleek. So just in case you were interested, I will link this dress down below for you guys as well. All right, so let's start off with the back wall, um, which is what I'm showing you right here. Basically on this side, I have a bunch of my luxury shoes. So these are like the really expensive shoes that I have as well as just like the ones that are a little bit more fancy like I still have some of my Liz Lisa ones over here as well even though they technically aren't luxury I just really like the way that they look while on display and then at the bottom here I do have a couple of boots now a lot of people sometimes ask me how my shoes stand up and I will show you guys that I actually 
use um, these like pool noodles. So I bought a couple of these on Amazon and I just cut them up to be like the length of the shoe. And then when I stand them up, they don't flop over or anything. So that is how that happens. <laughs> this is part of the closet that you will probably be most familiar with because this is my backdrop for almost every video. I have my purses organized here. I don't keep them in any sort of order. Um, it's really just on how I feel. And then when I get bored or want to change it up, I just take them all out and put them back in or sometimes I'll rearrange them um, after I've used them. Now over here really hasn't changed at all from the old part of my luxury closet. So in these drawers right here, I actually keep like my underwear, pajamas, swimsuits, and that kind of thing. I also have like t-shirts and sweatpants and yeah, just basically all of the stuff that I would consider like homeware or loungewear. Over here, we do have the accessories corner. It was getting a little bit crazy, so I um, have reorganized it lately. Um, but basically I keep like my sunglasses, my jewelry, and then I also have like a couple of my SLGs that I'm not using right now. I don't have very many, so that is why it's just displayed like that. I love how people have like those beautiful drawers full of SLGs, but I just don't have enough to be able to do that. So that is why mine is just hanging out right here. On the top, we have a couple of like planners and books and also a couple of SL Miss Glam brush sets. Um, I don't paper plan that much anymore. I just find that I don't really have time for it. So so I keep them on display right here and if I do ever feel like pulling them out I can easily just grab it from right here all right over here we do have my beautiful pink couch that I did get from Wayfair um so this couch is actually a futon so it unfolds and then it becomes like a full-size bed I've actually utilized this a few times when my friends have come over I kind of treat this room like a guest room even though I know I have a lot of my expensive bags in here the people who spend the night are people that I trust completely once the baby comes, um, this probably won't be feasible anymore to have like guests and the baby in here. I also think that it'll be nice once the baby comes as well because I can, you know, nurse him in here and just hang out with him in here a little bit too. So I'm really happy I still have this couch. I will leave a link to all of the like bigger things that I talk about in this video um, for you guys down in the description box below. So this couch will definitely be one of them if I can still find it. Um, in front of the couch, I do also have an ottoman that is now um, like a baby storage. <laughs> so I have like baby blankets in here and extra baby stuff. And then I also am going to put my like maternity stuff in here that I want to keep um, that I won't need for a few years until we you know, have another baby. Um, so that's gonna be all of my like maternity clothing that I've bought and leggings and that kind of things. All right, so over in this corner, you're going to see that this is one of the places that has changed significantly since my last closet tour video. So this space was actually like a mini office workspace for me. I had like my laptop here and a chair, but I got rid of all of that because I needed more space for my clothing. So I bought this dresser for myself. It's actually pretty large and what I store in here are like my pants and my sweaters and um, socks and stuff like that. So they're all filled within these drawers. I used to have it on the other side, which we will go to in a minute, but I had to get rid of all of that side to make room for the baby stuff. So that is why I purchased this dresser for myself. On the top of the dresser, we still have a bunch of my stuff, so this might change, but it's just like a bunch of decor and um, perfumes and other things like that. This little thing right here is actually something that we got from the baby shower. It's just like the little guest sign-in, so all of the little hearts inside have the names of all of our guests that attended our baby shower. So as you can see, everything is still a mixture of like my stuff and baby stuff, and that's just how it's gonna be until um, we can maybe get into a bigger place and separate the two out. All right, so now we are into the closet part. So as you guys may know um, from the last tour video, I kept my clothes in here and also in the other side of the room, but now I've shoved everything in here. So it looks pretty much the same. I've got like a bunch of tops and stuff right here. And then at the bottom, I do have my skirts. Right now it's like a mixture of like spring and summer stuff. However, I feel like during the spring, I might put more of my sweaters away just to make room for more spring clothes. I really like doing that just to make a little bit more room. And usually I'll put my like winter clothes away in like um, some sort of container and then like shove it in like the coat closet or something on the bottom. And then on this side of the closet, we have my dresses. So I have been asked if I kept um, some of my like older like Japanese brand clothing like Liz Lisa. Um, if you guys are um, an old fan of my channel, you'll know what I'm talking about. But 
Um, I did keep some. They are all in the back right here. And then I also do have two storage bins on the bottom, which I have kept some of my um, like hoodies and stuff like that, things that are a little bit bulkier, and then also the rest of the Liz Lisa and Japanese clothing items that I have saved. And then on the top here is where I keep all of my extra luxury boxes. This closet is cool because it actually goes all the way up to the ceiling and I have a really high ceiling. So whenever I do um, purchase new luxury stuff, I stick the boxes in here and kind of stack them up. All right, so now we are getting into the stuff that is a lot different than how I had my room previously because this is all of the nursery stuff. So here we have a mini crib. I decided to go with the mini crib just save space. Um, we really didn't have room for a larger crib. Now the cool thing about this one though is that it is like a, I think you call it like a grow with me crib. So you can actually um, turn this into a toddler bed by getting like a lower one of these things, um, like the railings. And then you can actually remove this completely and remove the side railings and buy longer ones. And then it actually becomes a twin bed. I love things that have like multiple functionalities and I think that this would be a piece that we could keep for a long time because it does seem like it's good quality as well. Now on the bottom of the crib, I actually have a few storage bins. So I'm keeping like extra swaddles and burp cloths in here and then also like a few extra towels and that kind of thing that's kind of out of the way. And then lastly over here, I think this was um, my bar cart where on the crib area, it was like where I was keeping extra clothing. Um, so instead of that, now I have a dresser. So this dresser actually holds all of the baby clothes and like excess baby stuff. So in the first drawer, I have like, um, you know, supplies like wet wipes and pacifiers and all that stuff. And then I um, kind of went full on nesting and folded all of the clothes in here. And then I've organized it by like size. So you can see the little labels on here. That way I can keep track of how many clothes we have in each size. And that way too, um, once the baby like grows out of the clothing, we can toss them or donate them and I can buy new ones. I also do have a changing tray here, but um, we're not gonna be using this one for now since the baby is going to be sleeping with us um, in the bassinet in our master bedroom for um, well as long as he can fit into that bassinet so um, right now I just have the diaper bags that I'm using on here a lot of people have been asking me about diaper bags I actually did a video all about the diaper bags that I'm using I will link it down below for you guys but in that video I didn't get this one yet this is my newest one from Mia and Sophia which is actually from SL Miss Glam Beauty she kindly sent me this diaper bag and I love it so much I'm so excited to use it it is huge it can fit everything that I need in there for the baby and it's also really comfortable as well and it comes in pink so I really do love that I'm on the side of the changing tray I just have you know stuff that baby needs like diapers um, wet wipes creams and stuff like that and then the last thing I have right here is a baby hamper um, so that we can keep his clothes separate from ours in case we have to do his laundry a little bit more often since he doesn't have as many clothes as I do and yeah that's pretty much it for this room I hope that you enjoyed seeing this part and now let's head over to the master bedroom for a second so I can show you um, what it looks like in there all right so this is the master bedroom I'm only going to be showing you like the baby side of it because the side where we have like all of our stuff and our bed it's really messy right now so right here behind me we have the halo bassinet we actually got this one from a friend who um, their baby like outgrew this bassinet um the cool thing about this one is that it swivels so we're either going to keep it here or we might move it to the side of the bed so that way when the baby wakes up at night um, we can just lean over and grab him and I can nurse him but I also do like having it here because it is next to this pink rocking chair that I bought myself um, I love it so much I got it on Wayfair this is one of the things that I will be linking down below for you guys if you are interested but it's super super comfy and I think I'm gonna have a really easy time nursing him on this we also do have like a couple of decorations that we got from Hobby Lobby Noah actually picked most of this out himself and we kind of do have like an elephant theme going like the bassinet sheets are elephants there's an elephant here and we also do have an elephant toy and sorry I know the light is like behind me so it looks kind of dark right now but the last couple of things I did want to share with you is that we do have a changing tray um, so I can actually pick this up and put it anywhere um, which I just thought was really convenient in case I need to change him like in the kitchen or in the living room or whatever, I can just take this and go. And then right here is my repurposed coffee cart. Um, so I used to have my stuff on here, but now it's become a baby changing station, I guess. So we do have like 
um, diapers and wet wipes and all that kind of thing and like a couple of his toys as well and then of course we do have like our little pink diaper pail in here I'll move it into the nursery closet room once um, you know we start having him there and changing him more there but for now it's in this room Oh, and I did forget to mention that we also do have a shelf that we're putting like his toys and everything in and the books and stuff that we've gotten from our friends and family at our baby shower. Theoretically, I would like to have all that stuff in the nursery, but we just don't have enough room right now. So that is why it's in here. And yeah, that was the end of the tour. What did you guys think? Um, I personally really love the way that it turned out. I love the mixture of my stuff and the baby stuff. Like I said, Ideally, we'd like to have our own separate spaces, but until we move into a bigger apartment or maybe get a house, um, this is what the situation is, but I really do think that I've made the best of it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of our room. And yeah, the baby should be coming any day now. We are so close to the due date. I'm still going to have videos coming up continuously. I pre-recorded so many videos for you guys. So you'll still have a new video every single week and I'll try to um, include baby stuff in between there as well. I plan on, you know, uploading as much as I can about the baby on Wednesdays. So if you are interested in that as well, let me know in the comment section down below. That might motivate me to do more updates and stuff about the baby. Please don't forget to go check out Farfetch. I will leave the code here and down below along with links to everything that I've talked about. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to also give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you did like this video. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better.